May God bless you. You may be seated. Good evening, beloved. What day are we on today? Day 24. I lost count. I'm not counting anymore. And if no one reminds me, we can go on to day 50. We'll be fasting. <laughs> yeah, it's just flowing. We've lost count. Amen. It is now good. Mm. Beloved, we see here, Jesus is about to go into Gadarenian territory. He's living his territory where he grew up, Galilee, to cross the Sea of Galilee and to, into uh, uh, another territory, the Gadarenian territory. And as they are crossing... The Bible says in verse 36, Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was, and other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. Remember that we starting by saying that Jesus told them, let us cross over to the other side. Whenever you get to a point in your life where you will have a desire to cross over to the other side, there will be winds that will arise. Whenever you get to a point in your life where you want to ascend, you want to go up, you say, Lord, I have had enough of this situation. I want change. There will be winds that will arise. Winds will arise against you. The Bible says the winds arose in the boat where the disciples were with Jesus. But there is something that caught my attention. In verse 36, the Bible says they took him along in the boat as he was. And then other little boats were also with him. Other little boats. If their boat was receiving water was being tossed by the winds and water was getting in the boat. What about the other little boats, which I can imagine were smaller than his boat? Can you imagine the tragedy that could have struck them? So whenever you decide that I've had enough of this situation, I'm crossing over to the other side, I have something to do on the other side, there will be a wind that will, that will rise, there will be a storm that will rise, there will be a tempest that will beat against your boat. Things will oppose themselves to your move. Not only you, people around you will also be affected and shaken. People around you, your family, there may be things, attacks that will be launched against your family. Because of you. Because you have decided to stand up in prayer. The devil will by all means try to discourage you. Number one, it is to discourage you. Stop doing what you're doing. I don't like it. You've been assigned to be poor your whole life. You've been assigned to be barren your whole life. You've been assigned to have poor health your whole life. You've been assigned to be single your whole life. You've been assigned to be barren your whole life. You've been assigned to be the mockery of people. La risée de tout le monde. People must laugh at you. Your whole life, that's what you must be. That is your mission on earth. Just to be there so people can make fun of you. To be a clown in life. That you don't achieve anything in life. The devil has assigned you that. That is your partition. Play that role. When Whenever you say, ah, ah, I'm not staying here anymore. I want to cross over to the other side. There is better for me. A storm will rise. To discourage you. That's why you will experience sometimes when you start praying seriously, things don't get better. They get worse before they get better. When you decide to start fasting and praying, problems will start arising. Storms. Attacks against your family. There will be a letter that you are going to be suspended or fired. Accusations left, right, and center. When you decide to start fasting on day one already, before the evening even comes, already, oh no, uh, I'm not feeling well, my stomach. Oh, those ulcers, they have started again. But there are days when you are not fasting and praying, but you don't eat because you are busy. 
you have a busy day at work. You don't have pain. You don't feel ulcers. You don't even feel hungry. Because you are doing things and these things you are doing did not give you time to eat. You fasted without fasting, right? It happens to all of us that sometimes you don't have time to eat because of how busy you are. Sometimes because of a visit, people visit you and you are chatting and talking and time is passing and you forgot to eat your lunch. You don't feel anything. But the day you decide I'm going to pray, that's when at 9 o'clock you feel hungry like you've never felt before. And you even start shaking. Nine o'clock. You start shaking because you are hungry. Like, mm -mm, I need to eat something. The day you decide to start fasting, a storm will rise. The little boats, they were also tossed. I, can, I don't know. I don't know what happened to the little boats. They are not discussing them. I don't know what happened to them. That may be your children. An attack may be launched against your loved ones. But don't stop. They did not say, let us turn back. They did not say, mm -mm, you know, navigating in such circumstances is not good. Let us turn back where we come from. No, they kept going. They kept going. So the devil will try to send you a storm to make you be afraid and to discourage you. But the right reaction here is the disciples... They cried out to the Lord. The Lord was in their boat. He was at the back of the boat, what is called the stern, on a pillow, peacefully sleeping. As long as the Lord is in your boat, you have nothing to fear. And the Lord is in your boat tonight. You have nothing to fear. The, boat, the Lord is in, your, in the boat of your life. You are here this evening. You have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is in your boat. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, give him your light. Invite him in your boat. You will have nothing to fear. Whenever there is a wave, whenever there is a wind, whenever there is a storm, you have someone to call, Lord, I need your help. He will be there to help. They prayed that day. Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Beloved, there will be times when the waves will rise and the winds will blow and the storm will shake your boat. The Lord will allow those things to do that. The Lord will allow those things to happen. He will not say, because you are with me, it is smooth sailing. Sometimes storms will rise. Although you have God in your life, in spite of the presence of Jesus in your life, He will allow the storms to rise. It will allow the winds to blow. It will allow the waves to toss your boats left and right. It will not let you die. It will not let you perish. Why will he allow that? Why does the Lord allow winds and storms and waves in our lives? Why don't we just go smooth sailing? Why does the Lord have to allow these things in our lives? Beloved, number one, they prayed. Remember, there were a few times when we saw the disciples praying. Amen? Number two, he wanted to reveal himself in a different way. Verse 39, he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. In verse 40, he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Verse 41, this is what I'm pursuing. And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, mm, 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 mm. we've never seen this before. We have never seen a man speak to the wind and command a storm and the storm obey him. This domain belongs to another one. It doesn't belong to a man. This domain belongs to to God. No man can speak to the wind and to the storm and the storm obey. If these disciples, they were Jews. They knew how God worked. They knew that God is the only one who could calm storms and winds. Let us go to the book of Psalm. Psalm chapter 89. Psalm 
Psalm chapter 89, and we are reading verse 8 and 9. If you are reading French, the French is verse 9 and 10. Psalm 89, in English, 8 and 9. The Bible says, you rule the raging of the sea. Verse 8, O Lord, go, Lord of hosts, O Lord, God of hosts, who is mighty like you, O Lord, your faithfulness also surrounds you. You rule the raging sea. Who rules the raging sea? God. When its waves rise, you steal them. You silence them. Verse 8, O Lord God of hosts. So they knew that there was El Sabaoth, Jehovah Sabaoth, who was the only one who had the power to silence the winds and the waves. But now they saw a man doing that. They knew this man to be the promised Messiah. They knew this man to be the Savior. But they did not know him to be Jehovah Sabaoth incarnated. That's why they wondered, mm, 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 who is this? Who is this man that is with us in the boat? You read again Psalm chapter 107. Psalm chapter 107, verse 28 and 29. They only knew God to be the only person that could calm the storms. Verse 28. Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble and he brings them out of their distresses. Verse 29. He calms the storm so that its waves are still. Only God could do these things. This was a domain of Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, the commander of the armies. Now they wonder, mm -mm, let us go back to Mark chapter 4 verse 41. They feared when they saw this man command the wind and the storm and the wind and the storm listened and quietened and were silenced. They feared exceedingly. They were more afraid than they were when the storm rose. They're like, mm -mm -mm, something is happening here. We are in the presence of greatness. This can only be God. God revealed himself. Jesus revealed himself as Jehovah Sabaoth, as the one that is able to calm the seas. Beloved, there will be sometimes God will allow problems and waves to rise, storms to rise in your life so that you can discover him in another way. You can dis discover another dimension of him. Because up to now, you are only discovering him when you have a headache. Lord, my headache. And you go, hey, I just made a short prayer. I was healed. Amen. God will allow storms to rise in your life so that you can discover another dimension of him. I believe Jesus allowed this to rise so that they can discover him to be the calmer of the seas. That, hey, I have divine nature in me. Hallelujah. There are situations that will happen in your life that you have never experienced before. You'll be like, God, what is this? Do I pray or not? Am I your child or not? You will not die. The storms can rise. They will not kill you. The winds can blow. They will not blow you away. As long as Jehovah Sabaoth is in your boat. The Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Now, there is, yesterday and the day before yesterday, I said something. I said, you know, there are situations that happen in your life and there is always a cause. Barren waters, the barren land, and, you know, the waters are bitter. They are undrinkable. It was caused by something. It was caused by a curse. You go back to Joshua chapter 6, you realize that Jericho was cursed. That's why the land was barren. That's why the water was bitter. And the solution was salt was thrown into the source and the land was healed and the waters became sweet again. There was a cause. What caused this wind to rise? What was the cause of this wind? When Jesus said, let's cross over to the other side. To do what? Let us carry on. Mark chapter 5, verse 1. So they came to the other side of the sea. To the country of the Gadarenes. And when he had come out of the boat, immediately, this is where we are getting. As soon as they land, 
in Gadarenes. Immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. Who had his dwelling among the tombs and no one could bind him, not even chains. Because he had often been bound with shackles and chains and the chains had been pulled apart by him and the shackles broken into pieces, neither could anyone tame him. This man was just like a demon. They tried to bind him with chains. He broke the chains. And always night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying out, cutting himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, from afar, he ran and worshipped him. And he cried out with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, son of the most high God? I implore you by God, do not torment me. For Jesus said to him, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. Then he asked him, What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. This is what caused the winds. Hallelujah. Because Jesus was going with his disciples on a mission. They were going to change lives. They have a miracle awaiting them on the other side. Now legions, which is a network of demons, said we are not going to let that happen. Because here we have someone who is bound. We don't want him to meet Jesus. Because if he meets Jesus, it is the end of our story and games in his life. We're going to prevent that. Let us send a storm. They're going to capsize and they will die in the sea. This might have been the cause because as soon as they land, the man runs out. He's like, ah, oh, they made it. Hallelujah. They will be surprised. They will be shocked. You will, you will make it. Those who are sending waves and winds against you and storms, they will be surprised. Hey, she made it. They will cry, whoa, she got married. Whoa, she has a child. Hey, he has a job. Mama, uh, he finished his studies. But we blocked everything. How come he has a promotion? They will be surprised. Whoa, she made it. Whoa, he made it. We closed every door. We sent the waves. We sent the winds. We sent the storms. How did she make it? They will be shocked. They will be surprised. They will not realize. They will not believe what is happening to you. No position will hold you back in 2022 in Jesus' name. You will cross over to the other side. You will make it to the other side. And your miracle is going to take place in Jesus' name. You know the rest of the story. The man was healed. Whenever you want to cross over to the other side, there will be opposition. Winds will blow. Storms will rise. Don't turn back. Keep on going. Even if you have very little strength, keep on going. You are fasting here. You are fasting here. 36 days. Today I hear it is day 24. You have very little strength. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Keep on going. You will not die. As long as Jehovah Sabaoth is in your boat, you will not die. You will make it to the other side. You will make it to day 36. You will make it to your miracle. You will make it to your promotion. You will make it to your healing. You will make it to your elevation. You will make it. You will make it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And this is what we're going to base our prayer on tonight. Hallelujah. We're going to base our prayer on this tonight. Shall we stand up and pray? In Jesus' name. I want you to make a confession before we say our, our first prayer. I want you to command the storms in your life to be silenced in Jesus' name. Say with me, all you storms... In my life, rising against my life, all you winds blowing against my life, all you storms of endless problems, of debts, storms of jealousy and hatred, storms of opposition, opposition to my success. Opposition to my restoration. Opposition to my miracles. I command you right now. Be 
peace be still in Jesus' name. This year, your words will do nothing against me. This year, your winds shall fail against me. In Jesus' name. Pray. Command every storm in your life to be silenced in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Let us pray. Toutes les tempêtes, tous les vents, toutes les vagues dans ta vie, fais les taire maintenant au nom de Jésus. Au nom de Jésus. Nous les faisons taire au nom de Jésus-Christ. Au nom de Jésus-Christ. Papa, je commande à toute tempête, à toute vague, à, tout, à tous les vents de se taire maintenant. Au nom de Jésus-Christ. All storms in my life, be silent, peace be still, in Jesus' name. The Lord is in my boat. The Lord is in my boat. I shall make it to the other side. I shall make it to the other side. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I shall make it to the other side. I shall make it to my miracle. I shall make it to my breakthrough. I shall make it to my restoration. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rabba shika rabase. Rabba shika rabase. Rabba shika rabase. Au nom de Jésus Christ, chaque vague, tempête et vent, je vous ordonne de vous taire. Au nom de Jésus Christ, 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 taisez-vous, soyez calme, calmez-vous, au nom de Jésus, au nom de Jésus Christ, avec le Seigneur dans mon bateau, vous n'allez rien faire contre moi. Vos vagues ne vont pas me terrasser. Vos vagues ne vont pas me couler au nom de Jésus-Christ. Le vent ne vont pas me couler au nom de Jésus-Christ. Je vous renverse, je vous ordonne de vous taire au nom de Jésus. Au nom de Jésus, au nom de Jésus. Je ne vais pas faire marche arrière, j'avance et je continue dans le nom de Jésus-Christ jusqu'à la victoire finale. Avec la force que j'ai, je continue. Avec le Seigneur en moi, je continue. Dans le nom de Jésus, dans le nom de Jésus, je commande à toute vague, à tout vent, à toute tempête de se taire au nom de Jésus-Christ. Au nom de Jésus-Christ. Alléluia. Toutes les tempêtes causées par les légions, je vous ordonne de vous taire. Dans le nom de Jésus. 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 Je vous ordonne de vous taire. Je vous ordonne de vous taire. Je vous ordonne de vous taire. Au nom de Jésus-Christ. Peace be still. All you storms in my life. Peace be still. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Je vous ordonne de vous taire. Dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Toutes les tempêtes dans ma vie. Taisez-vous. Tempête de maladie. De médiocrité, d'insuffisance, au nom de Jésus-Christ. Je vous ordonne de vous taire dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Tempête de médiocrité, de maladie, d'opposition, de jalousie, de dette, de problèmes qui ne finissent pas. Taisez-vous au nom de Jésus. Au nom de Jésus. Tempête de haine et de jalousie, des accusations gratuites contre ma personne. Je vous ordonne de vous taire au nom de Jésus-Christ. Taisez-vous. Vous ne ferez rien contre moi en 2022. Dans le nom de Jésus. 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 Alléluia. Any storm in your life caused by any spirit or any person. Just as we saw a storm here in uh, the disciples' life could have been caused by the demons that did not want their mission to be completed in gatherings. He just wanted to put an end to their mission. Any storm in your life caused by any person or any demon or any spirit, we are going to command right now the people behind your storms, the demons behind your storm, every architect of your storms, we're going to command to paralyze them in Jesus' name. Every architect of your storms, people that are making up storms, you know there are people that can do these things in the, in the world. You have seen people going to the witch doctors and they send, uh, what do they call them? La foudre. What? Lightning. Huh? Radi. Uh-huh, radi. Lightning. What do you call? 
Some people can manufacture these things. So there are people that can also cause trouble in your life. Architects of instability in your home. Architect of tra- your trouble spirit. You are always you are always troubled. You lack peace. Architect of conflicts. Always at conflicts with people in your home, with people around you. Toujours de conflict. Every architect of these things, we are going to paralyze them in Jesus' name. They will not be able to do anything in 2022. Architect of instability. You make small progress. You you advance two steps and then you go back three steps. You are not advancing at all. You are not advancing at all. It's like, you know, in South Africa, sometimes they say, oh, petrol price has come down by 10%. And after four months, it has gone, it, it has gone up by 50 cents. Oh, come on. It went down 10 cents, and then it goes up 40 cents. It didn't go down at all. You are lying to us. It went up by 40 cents. You make two steps forward, five steps backward. You are not achieving anything. Every architect of instability, of hostilities, of lack of peace lack of peace you never have peace a little achievement big trouble arrives the joy of your little achievement this is what the enemy wants you always to be troubled lack of peace instability always it's like you are living you know surrounded by demons we are going to paralyze them in jesus name paralyze every architect of your storms in jesus name let us pray vous êtes paralysé tous les architectes des vents et des tempêtes qui se lèvent contre moi dans le nom de jésus dans le nom de jésus dans le nom de jésus je vous paralyse au nom de jésus christ vous ne ferez rien contre moi every architect of troubled spirits lack of peace conflicts in the home hostilities and instabilities in jesus name i command you to be paralyzed i command you to be paralyzed in jesus mighty name this year i shall make progress this year i will move forward this year i will advance this year i will make gains this year i will have over mighty victories that will be secured not victories that will be stolen after a short time my victories will be permanent. My victories will remain. My victories will be long lasting. No one is going to take away my joy. No one is going to take away my victory. No one is going to take away my peace. No one is going to take away my stability. No one is going to take away my calm. No one is going to take away my quietness. No one is going to take away, in Jesus' name, my progress. Au nom de Jésus, je vous paralyse, vous voleur de joie. Voleur de stabilité, voleur de destinée, je vous paralyse, je vous paralyse au nom de Jésus. Je ferai des progrès que personne, aucun démon, aucun esprit ne pourra arrêter au nom de Jésus. Mon frère fera des progrès cette année, mon frère fera des progrès cette année. Il va avancer, il va avancer, il va conquérir de nouveaux terrains au nom de Jésus-Christ. Il va traverser de l'autre côté au nom de Jésus-Christ. Il va laisser les tempêtes derrière, la médiocrité derrière, l'instabilité derrière au nom de Jésus-Christ pour aller vers l'élévation, vers la stabilité, vers la restauration dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Alléluia. Thank you, Lord Almighty, because all the perturbers, all the architects of trouble, of storms, of winds in my life, they are paralyzed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Beloved, we read about legions, which is a network of demons. Legions. A a coalition of demons working against you. We are going to drive them out of your life. In Jesus' name. Any coalition of spirits and demons working against you. There is always a problem after another. When it is not a sickness, it is an accident. When it is not an accident, it is a breakdown of a car. When you fix the breakdown of the car, the fridge breaks down. When you fix the fridge, the, the washing machine breaks down. When you wash the washing machine, always a problem. You are just there to fix problems in your life. Never to enjoy. A coalition of demons working against you. Beloved, we have experienced the hand of God in our lives where you pray upon the, the car stops working. You lay hands on the car. You are going to drive. Engine, you will start in Jesus' name. You start the car and the motor démarre and you drive off. We have experienced it. I have experienced it. We have laid hands on things. We have laid hands on fridges. We have laid hands on cars and things worked. We are going to drive out any coalition of demons 
working against us, against our children, our homes, and our destinies in Jesus' name. Let us chase them away in Jesus' name. All power and authority has been given to you. Pray, 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 pray. Tout pouvoir, toute autorité t'a été donné pour chasser toute coalition des démons, coalition des démons, des esprits méchants, des esprits mauvais pour créer l'instabilité dans ta maison, le manque de paix dans ta maison. Chasse au nom de Jésus-Christ, chasse au nom de Jésus-Christ, toute coalition des démons. J'ordonne à toute coalition des démons, au nom de Jésus, tout réseautage satanique, quittez ma vie. Quittez ma maison, quittez mon église, quittez mon foyer, quittez ma famille, au nom de Jésus-Christ. Laissez l'église de Dieu tranquille, laissez le peuple de Dieu tranquille. Vous ne ferez rien contre eux en 2022. Represeke, ria prasha, robo soko, ria mashika rabasika rabasendre, robo soko robo sondro, ria mashika rabasandra. Au nom de Jésus, au nom de Jésus, nous ordonnons, nous commandons, au nom de Jésus Christ, à tout esprit méchant, à tout esprit impur, le réseau des démons, la coalition des démons qui nous maintient dans la maladie, dans le manque de paix, dans le trouble, dans la confusion. Dans les pertes, dans les accidents, dans les pannes, dans la médiocrité, dans les manques, dans la pauvreté, dans la, dans la stérilité. Je vous chasse, je vous ordonne de vous en aller dans les lieux arides au nom de Jésus. Vous ne pouvez rien contre nous, vous ne pouvez rien contre nous au nom de Jésus-Christ. Tout esprit méchant, esprit impur, esprit de célibat contre ma soeur, allez-vous-en dans les lieux arides. Esprit de célibat contre mon frère. Allez-vous-en dans les lieux arides. Je vous ordonne de vous en aller. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, vous ne pouvez rien contre nous. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, au nom de Jésus-Christ, au nom de Jésus-Christ, au nom de Jésus-Christ. Alléluia. Storms, we, we saw that storms will rise to prevent a miracle in your life. Right now, we're going to declare that explosive miracles will happen in your life. Supernatural happenings you will see in your life. Things your eye has never seen. Things your ear has never heard. Things that have not come up in your mind or in your heart. You will see this year in Jesus' name. You thought you knew God. You knew him as Jehovah Rapha. This year you will see him as El Shaddai. God Almighty to whom nothing is impossible. You thought you saw Jehovah Jireh. This year, you will see Jehovah Sabaoth, your fighter, the Lord of heavenly armies. He himself will lead his armies in battle, the Lord of hosts. He will fight your battles. You will just see. You will be quiet and see the deliverance that the Lord will give you. You will see him at war. Our God is a man of war. You think you knew God? You will know him better this way. You will know him better this year. Every storm that will rise to prevent your miracle, we declare that miracles will happen. Not just any miracle, ordinary miracles that I have seen. I will see explosive miracles. Supernatural happenings. They will happen in every department of your life. In your marriage, explosive miracles. In your work, explosive miracles. In your business, explosive miracles. In your relationships, explosive miracles. In your singleness, explosive miracles. In your poverty, explosive miracles. In your womb, explosive miracles. In your body, your health, explosive miracles in every area of your life. Let us declare, I will see explosive miracles, supernatural happenings this year in 2022. Pray. Pray, pray. Declare it and you will see it. In Jesus' name. Je verrai mon père et mon roi. Des miracles extraordinaires. Comme je n'en ai jamais vu. Papa, les disciples croyaient te connaître. Mais ils ne connaissaient pas les dieux qui peuvent calmer la tempête. Ils avaient entendu parler de toi dans les livres des psaumes. Que tu calmes les tempêtes. Tu calmes les vents. Mais mon père et mon roi, ces jours-là, ils t'ont vu face à face. Et ils t'ont vu à l'œuvre. Ils t'ont vu à l'œuvre. Papa, toute opposition à mon miracle ne pourra pas arrêter le miracle d'arriver. 
dans le nom de Jésus. Je déclare que les miracles auront lieu au nom de Jésus-Christ, que des actions surnaturelles auront lieu dans chaque département de ma vie. Cette année, 2022, je vois des miracles, j'expérimente des miracles, je vois des prodiges, je vois des signes dans mes affaires, dans mon ministère, dans mes enfants, dans les études de mes enfants, dans ma maison, dans mon ministère, dans mes affaires, dans foi et victoire, dans le nom de Jésus, dans tes enfants ici présents. You will see it. Supernatural happenings. Such as you have never seen before. In 2022. Not next year. Not in 2025. In 2022. Give a hand to Jesus. Joel 2 verse 25. Joel chapter 2 verse 25. I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten. This man, for so many years, he could have been a somebody in his life. But the devil kept him in a condition where years was just passing by and nothing was happening. He was static. He couldn't achieve anything. There is a situation. There is a storm that has kept you in one place, you could not move. We have canceled and silenced and quietened the storms in your life. But now, we are going to pray for restoration. Lords, I wasted so many efforts. I wasted so much time. I wasted so many years. This year, I pray for restoration. You say in your word that you will restore to me the years that the swarming locust has eaten. Amen. If you read about this man in Mark chapter 5, verse 19, this man came to Jesus after being healed. However, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, go home to your friends. He came to Jesus, I want to follow you. I want to, go, to come with you after he was delivered. Jesus did not permit him. He said, go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has had compassion on you. Verse 20, haha. <laughs> The man departed and he began to preach the gospel. He began to proclaim in Decapolis. Decapolis polis means city. Deca means ten. Decapolis is, uh, it is like, you know, a, a city that has ten departments. Hallelujah. He went to Decapolis and he started announcing the good news, started preaching what Jesus had done for him, and all marveled. Amen? He became an international evangelist. He was restored. Wasted years were restored to him. And he started going to preach like a madman. <laughs> he became a crazy man for Jesus. Est-ce qu'il y a un fou de Jésus ici? Hallelujah! The Lord restored to him, and this man didn't waste any time. He went, and he started preaching. Hallelujah. He became sane. People marveled. They're like, uh-uh, please, come, come. Is this Kasongo? Is this Jabulani? Jabu. Since when did he start reading? He can read the Bible. When did he make a sentence that made sense? Ah, look at how handsome he is. Look at how calm he is. Look at how intelligent he is. Hey, people are following him. What is he telling them? Amen? Wasted years were restored to him. 
You too, you are going to, to pray, God, restore all the wasted years that were blocked and stolen by storms, various storms in my life. Restore. You will not just, okay, the storms have, have, have been silenced. The winds have stopped blowing. And then you start your life. Uh -uh, you're not going to start your life like that. Restoration. Restoration. It's like the, 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 the children of Israel, when they left Egypt, they did not leave Egypt empty-handed. There was restoration. Remember they were exploited in Egypt. Remember they worked for no salaries. But that day the Lord says silver, gold, items of clothing, take, take, take before you go out. They left Egypt with silver and gold. Restoration. Say, Lord, restore me. All the years that were wasted. All my efforts that were wasted. You tried. Shame. You did try. Didn't you try? What business did you not try? What engagement did you not give your best in, but it didn't work out still? The fiancé, tu as donné ton meilleur. Tu as fait de ton mieux. Où you mena mubamba, vraiment, tu as fait de ton mieux. But still, what did you not try? What job did you not give your best in? What business did you not try? But failure, wastage, failure, wasted, failure, efforts, wasted. Today you say, Lord, all my wasted years and efforts you are restoring to me in Jesus' name. Your blessings will be multiplied. Your blessings will be multiplied in Jesus' name. You are going to convert all your wasted years and efforts into multiple and high impact blessings. You know high impact blessing? It is a blessing that is going to change your life. A high impact blessing. Something is going to happen to your life. That thing is going to change your life. It will not be an ordinary thing. No, it is going to change your life. That is restoration I'm praying for. In Jesus' name, declare, Lord Almighty, my wasted years, I am transforming them into high-impact blessings. In Jesus' name, I am converting them into multiple blessings now. In Jesus' name, let us pray, let us pray, let us pray. Dans le nom de Jésus-Christ, toutes les années perdues, toutes les années gaspillées, tous les efforts... that can happen and people will ask you ah so you've been in business how many years they will think that you started business when you were a young boy for you to have everything that you have you'll say ah, i just started six months ago ah they will accuse you of using muti but you're muti jesus this is what i'm praying for high impact blessings people will wonder when did this start hallelujah no, I just started last year. But when you start last year with the Lord, it's different. Hallelujah. Beloved, we're going to pray for our prayer request and then we'll end for today. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. Come boldly with boldness, with assurance with confidence. Come confidently to the throne of grace so that you may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The throne of grace is waiting for you. If you want mercy, that is the place to go. If you want help in time of need, that is the place to go. If you want mercy and grace, this is the time to do so. Amen? Yesterday we saw, don't go and, you know, present your needs out there. Oh, I need this. Look at what I don't have. They will laugh at you. They will give you a hundred rand and say, I made you. 
you forget what I, I did for you. The Lord will not do that. Amen? Anyway, he will not share his glory with another. Amen. The Bible says, come boldly to the throne of grace. And when you come boldly to the throne of grace, you will obtain mercy and you will obtain help in your time of need. This is the time for mercy. This is the time for you to be helped. Come with your list, with your prayer request. Present them to the Lord right now in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Papa, ta parole déclare, approchez-vous donc du trône de la grâce afin d'obtenir miséricorde. Papa, je viens auprès de toi afin d'être secouru dans mon temps de besoin. Papa, je viens auprès de toi, mon Père et mon Roi, avec tous mes besoins, dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Papa, mes besoins, tu les connais. Les besoins de mon frère, tu les connais. Nous te les exposons ce soir à toi. Pas à un homme, mais à toi, au nom de Jésus-Christ. We come to you, Lord, with our needs. We come to you, Lord, to seek help, to find grace in Jesus' name, in our hour of need, in the name of Jesus. Papa, je viens auprès de toi avec tous mes besoins, dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Mes besoins, mon père et mon roi, personnel. Les besoins de ma famille, les besoins de mon foyer, les besoins de mes enfants, les besoins dans les ministères, les besoins pour Val, les besoins pour Foi et Victoire, ici à Johannesburg, les besoins de cette église, les besoins de notre ministère, nous venons avec auprès de toi, dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Viens nous donner ta grâce, nous obtenons miséricorde, nous sommes secourus au nom de Jésus. Papa, nous nous mettons d'accord pour proclamer, pour déclarer l'exaucement des prières de tes enfants dans le nom de Jésus. Exauce-les, mon Père et mon Roi. Agréez, mon Père et mon Roi, leur requête des prières. Accepte-les, Dieu des armées, au nom de Jésus. Et interdis les choses dont ils ne veulent plus voir dans leur vie, dans le nom de Jésus. Les tempêtes, nous mettons fin. Les vents, nous mettons fin. Les vagues, nous les faisons taire, dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Cette année, nous allons expérimenter, comme Jéhovah Sabaoth est dans nos vies, les dieux qui combat nos combats. Notre Dieu qui combat pour nous, dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Oui, l'Éternel combattra pour vous et vous gardera le silence. Papa, nous ne serons pas inquiets. Nous n'allons pas promener un regard inquiet, car le Seigneur Jésus-Christ est dans notre barque, dans le nom de Jésus, dans les barques de nos vies. Merci, Prince de la Paix, d'exaucer les prières de tes enfants. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, nous prions avec action de grâce et nous disons Amen. Give a hand to Jesus. Glory, glory.